Hello and welcome to another Glassback LX video. This one's going to have to do with scheduling and scheduling auto glass appointments, replacements, repairs. And what I want to do in this one is instead of getting into the settings, there's several settings you got to put in place to, in order to use the scheduler. Before I get into that, I just want to show you how it's used once this, the settings are in place. So I have a work order set up for this purpose. And when you have the settings in place, you'll notice something on the, the work order form here. There is a field called job area. Now, it's technically a drop down field, but you wouldn't normally fill it in that way because you set up job areas by zip codes. So when a zip code goes into this install address, and I'll make that happen by clicking copy customer address, you'll see that the job area fills in. And you'll see down at the bottom here, this scheduling information shows up. This is, we call this the weekly scheduler. And what it does, is, all it does is show you the capacities of the, about a week's worth of days ahead of time. And some of you may be looking at this wondering why this order form looks so much different than yours. And a lot of it has to do with, I'm using the ECI tab, which is new in 631 of Glassback LX. So if you have 631 and you haven't seen this yet, you can turn this on by going to Company Settings. And in the General Application Settings, there is an Enable ECI tab checkbox there. Turn that on. If you have a lot of people using Glasspack, this is a universal setting. So it's going to turn this on for everybody. So you may have some explaining to do if you just go turn that on. But once you turn it on, it'll look like this. And what it is is a combination of customer, estimate, and insurance information. So it's kind of a combination of those three tabs. You still have those tabs in existence on the form, but this combines a lot of the, the most upfront information about those tabs. It's very popular with people who have CSRs taking orders and stuff like that. All right, that said, if you look down here, I can expand the weekly scheduler. And I have my scheduler set up with one job area and two installers assigned to that job area. So if I want to go ahead and schedule this job, I'm looking at my weekly scheduler and I have capacity still left on Monday. I want The customer wants it done on Monday. Now, this is 2015 and this Monday 9-7 happens to be Labor Day. Please ignore that. Of course I would decide to do this video today. But let's open that up. This opens what we call the job area scheduler. It looks kind of like an Outlook calendar and you can see my two installers here they have a column each and right now on that Monday I have two jobs for them each this would be a fifth job somewhere I'm gonna go ahead and assign it to John Doe because I happen to know he works in this area more commonly and it'll be closer to the rest of the stuff he's doing so I'll double click here and that will place this order the one in which we open this job area appointments scheduler, it'll place this order on his schedule. So if I close that, and if you look at the general tab, you'll see that by virtue of me double clicking and putting this order on there on that scheduler, we filled in the scheduling information. So it's as if we came here and just selected these. And it also put John Doe on there. I'm going to save this and then show you the daily scheduler. The daily scheduler is the tool used by someone who's going to play kind of a dispatching role, who's going to coordinate the installers. And this icon right here will open it up. And you have, in the top third here, you have all this search criteria you can do. But you can set your kind of standard, what you want to see when you first open it up. You can set a default. And so I have my default set to look at my, job, my one job area, all assigned branches, which in my case is the one branch, and all installers. Now if I just use this tool up here, I can go to the day I'm looking at, which is the 7th, and now here I can see all the jobs assigned for the 7th, Monday. Notice that three are red, two are blue. The colors are what assigns each job to the different installers. So Larry's jobs are blue, John's jobs are red. 
And in this tool, somebody could select one of these jobs and make schedule, scheduling changes to that job. For instance, they could change the date, could change the time, could take this installer off, put a different installer on, make changes like that, add instructions, and once you click the update data button, it will actually update the work order with that information. And if I click up here in the upper right, there's a display map. If I click that, we have an API set up with, with Google Maps where you can look at a Google Map showing the jobs you have scheduled and where they are. And based on the settings you input, you can also see the starting point for the installers. So there's the two blue ones, there's the three red ones. Okay. Now that's a very basic look at it, but that's that covers most of what you would deal with when, when you set up the scheduler. And you can get a little bit fancier, a little more refined with it. I'm not going to go into all that, but next I'm going to show you how to actually set this up uh, from beginning to end.